Hello students. So today we are going to learn cockroach nervous system. Already we have learned about the dye system, where we learned the different parts and how the system works, different parts, etc. And the class which the cockroach comes in the insecta and phylum are through code, right? So before again coming to the detailed part of the nervous system, something interesting as I always put in all my videos, something interesting related to the particular concept or the topic. Now here, the cockroach nervous system is very much strong. How, why, or how it is strong? The reason is, uh, if I give you, take you back, uh, when in Japan, during the second world war, uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, where the uh, nuclear bomb explosion had taken place, after three months, six months, when the debris was cleared, they could find every animal, plants, birds, humans that destroyed or was eliminated, nothing was left out. But when they removed the debris, they could count the cockroach in it or the cockroach was still living. That means even the nuclear explosion did not affect them to that extent that all other things were eliminated. Right? Why so? Now, that's how we are going to learn in detail about the system. Now, in this cockroach nervous system, they got two parts. One is a nerve ring, which you can see here, and the double ventral nerve cord. Right? And the nervous system in case of cockroach is ganglionated. What is the ganglionated means? It is spread out. Because of which the system is very well developed. Unlike the lower uh, non cortex Right? Okay. Now, uh, in case of cockroach nervous system, as we learn in the humans also, three things are there, three parts are there. That is CNS, PNS, ANS. What is that? Central nervous system, peripheral nervous system, and the autonomous nervous system. Autonomous nervous system which functions on its own. Right? Now, central nervous system consists of three parts. That is, first one, supraesophageal ganglia, the second, circumesophageal ganglia, and the third, subesophageal ganglia. Right? So three parts are. Now, the supraesophageal ganglia, or other ways we call it the brain of the cockroach. So this part can say the brain of cockroach, that is supraesophageal ganglia. Then the circumesophageal ganglia, which is connected by the connective, that is circumesophageal ganglia. Now this leads into the thoracic region. In the thoracic, we have got three parts, that is prothoracic, mesothoracic, and metathoracic, which leads into the abdominal ganglia, which is one, two. 3, 4, 5, 6. The sixth one is larger. But present in the seventh segment. Now, so these are the different ganglia which are present. Now, starting again, that is the supra, circum, and the sub inspector together from the nerve ring. Now, uh, when we talk about the functions or the peripheral system, the supra superior ganglia, it is connected to the antenna. That is the nerve innervates into the antenna, into the optic nerve, that is the eyes and then the labral nerve. Okay, so in all the three pads, that is six nerves are present. So these six innervates into the antenna, optic nerves and the labral. Whereas the circum, the circumesophageal ganglia connects the supra and the sub. The subesophageal ganglia again innervates into the maxillary nerve, the mandibular nerve, labial nerve into the three parts. Like the supra. So again it innervates into these three regions, maxillary, mandibular and the labial nerve. Now further it continues as the uh, ventral or the posterior part where we have got the thoracic region, prothoracic, mesothoracic, metathoracic region. These nerves innervate into the three pair of limbs, also the two pair of wings. Then further it enters into the abdominal ganglia. The abdominal ganglia, as you can see, sixth ganglia, sixth one is larger and thicker, which enters the seventh segment. Now these innervates into the lower part of the abdominal region. Now, as you can see, the nerve ring, and here it is double ventral nerve cord. Also, when you learn about non cortex or in case of cockroach, in humans we are having the, the uh, nervous system or the uh, column at the back end. That is a uh, vertebral column. Whereas in case of front is our digestive system. But in case of cockroach or non-cordial, it is the opposite. That is, the digestive system is at the back 
and the nervous system in the front. So here it will take copper in this position, upper dorsal and the lower ventral part. So this nervous system is present in the ventral region. And you can see the nervous system is well spread out. Now I will give you one more example. Now in case of the cockroach head which is damaged or cut, cockroach can even survive for 1 week to 10 days. How so? Without head, how the cockroach will survive? Any species, it will die. Reason in the head, the antenna is there, optic nerves is the brain is there. So without brain, without optic nerve, how it will survive? It can't survive. But cockroach can still live for 10 days without uh, the head. But it dies after 10 days. Reason? The mouth, mouth parts are present the head region. So it cannot take in the food because of it dies after 10 days. How does it survive for 10 days? Because of the well developed cannulated nerve. Also, throughout the surface of the body, they got the spiritus present, which help in respiration or breathing part. So that is why the cockroach system is unlike any other non cordates or even cordates, it's very strong. So it can survive in different conditions, different climatic regions. That's why it is present everywhere, it's omnipresent present in each and every region. Okay, so thank you all of you. Hopefully the concept is clear.